Hi everyone. Welcome to Jabba Techie. Now imagine this. In an interview, you are given a huge data set and ask you to iterate over this and do some operations. Which approach would you prefer to use? A simple for loop, a stream API or maybe a parallel stream? I know most of us including me would instantly go for stream operation because they are functional, clean and more readable right but will stream beat the for loop did we ever stop and compare the performance so well in this tutorial we are going to set up a 100 meter race between all three for loop stream and parallel stream and see who is the winner the answer will surprise you and trust me it's not what you think so let's watch and enjoy the race okay all right so without any further delay Let's get started. So to demonstrate who in the race, first let me create a new Java class. I'll name it loop versus stream race or you can also define the benchmark. Now what is our first goal? We'll run a huge data set with three different approach using for loop using stream and using parallel stream okay so what i'll do i'll take 50 million integers in a list then the simple logic i am going to perform to evaluate who is the winner will just find the sum of all the numbers okay that is the simple task i will ask all the three loops to do then we'll evaluate who execute first or what is the latency of each method execution okay so let me create a data first next i want to add 50 million number to this particular list so i want the data setup should be done on application startup so i'll just define a static block then i'll take a for loop int i equal to you can start it from 1 i less than equal to 50 million i plus plus nothing to do just add that value to the list that's it so just keep a note here next let me define one main method and we'll use this particular list to evaluate the sum using for loop using stream and parallel stream so let me define three methods okay public so in for loop the approach is straightforward right just define a variable assign it to the zero then just iterate each numbers then just increase one by one okay or just do something like this sum equal to sum plus the value what is that i next we'll use the stream approach to find out the sum okay so i'll define a method public stream sum so it's very simple nothing to do just use the stream operation take the numbers convert it to the stream okay then convert it to the integer value okay so i'll use or just convert it to the long value map then just do the sum all good this is the simple method using stream api now see the line number 22 to 27 and c 32 32 stream operation allow us to do functional style coding and it's better readable isn't it now let's do the sum operation using parallel stream so i'll copy this and instead of stream i'll use the parallel stream that's the only change so we have defined all the three methods now let's call each and every methods and let's see the result okay 
each method how much time it took to execute you can evaluate that so for that what i can do i'll just use long start when it start i'll use system dot current time millisecond then i'll also get long end okay now between this i'll execute my logic so i'll simply call for loop okay i need to define this as a static right because i'm directly calling inside the main method define static fine now i'll just add a sys out statement for loop result this is the output and how much time it took to exe execute okay now i'll do the same for stream and parallel stream so what i can do i'll just copy this call the stream method change the output okay now i'll do the same for parallel stream see you can even design it in a better way you can just use a functional interface and you can run multiple times and get the average to find the accurate result but i'm going with the very basic approach so that everyone can understand okay so now we can change it to the parallel stream result so we are good if you see this it's crystal clear what we are doing now let's run it and we'll see the magic let me run it from here see the output for loop took 170 millisecond stream took 125 parallel stream took 149 so what do you think is the result is correct salvi declare this stream as a winner no i will tell you why because when we run our java code first time the jvm is still warming up the java in time compiler is not fully optimized our code think of it like in this way let's say you are in deep sleep and i suddenly shake you and asking you to run you would probably stumble into a wall few times before you actually run properly right because your brain needs a moment to activate so same applicable here also jvm needs a few run to wake up analyze the code and apply the optimization once the java in time is fully active your code run at the genuine top speed so let's give it some warm up laps before we measure the performance and that is what the recommended approach to evaluate the performance or whenever you are doing the benchmarking allow some time to run your machine then apply the load and get the result that is what the genuine flow to do the benchmarking otherwise you will hit with the wall there is no doubt okay so let's warm up our machine first so for that what i can do i will just do something like i'll first write a print statement saying that jvm warm up started then in between i'll call these methods three four times okay then my machine is active and all the result you will get the accurate because that is what behind the scene it happens okay so what i'll do i'll just do the for loop and i'll call all these three methods once so this looks good five times each method will call so my machine will get the moment to speed up the things after that we are actually evaluating our benchmarking result now let's run this application it will take time because the count is 50 million which is a big number right so let's wait and see the result great we got the result now if you see the output for loop took 86 millisecond stream 93 and see the number parallel stream how much time it took to execute only 60 millisecond okay so let me copy this output so you can define this as a result 1 
then we will run again result 2 let's run it see the number for loop 99 millisecond stream 108 parallel stream 62 again who is the winner parallel stream here I will tell you why but before that let's run it 2-3 times now again for loop 94 millisecond stream 98 and parallel stream took 59 millisecond see the three result in all the three parallel stream took less time compared to the stream and for loop now who is the winner here parallel stream give him the gold medal okay but that's not the real fact i'll tell you why parallel stream give you the better result and compare the for loop and stream always for loop gives better result than stream can you see the number now let's understand why the parallel stream is winner here the main reason what parallel stream does behind the scene it divides the whole task into chunks using fork join pool and process them on multiple CPU cores at the same time for example how many records we are processing 50 millions right now let's say I am having 4 cores machine then in each core 1 2 3 4 he will split task into multiple chunk let's say each chunk will be 10 million then what it does it took the 10 million go into the core one create multiple thread to execute that 10 million then again took the second chunk go into some core and uh, create the threads over there and execute your task so that is the reason it's parallel execution with multiple cores okay so that is the reason you are getting a good number in parallel stream approach but honestly the output will not be always same now since you are using 50 million data so the data set is huge so it's enough work to justify splitting into multiple threads because the overhead of creating threads and merging results becomes negligible when the workload is more okay when the workload is big but if I'll take let's say I'll change it to 10,000 so let's run it first see the result for loop 1 millisecond stream 0 millisecond now stream is the winner here ok because the data set is not that much huge right 10,000 is not a big number now see the parallel stream 36 millisecond can you compare the number 35 times more than stream and for loop now let's run it again see this 2 millisecond now stream took 12 millisecond 14 millisecond let's run it again see the number in parallel stream we cannot define or we cannot declare him as a winner always if it is a large data set then no doubt parallel stream will give you the best result if it is a less data set then don't go for even parallel stream even I would suggest to not go with the stream because the purpose of stream is not meant for looping if you have stream of inputs you can perform different intermediate operation like filtering collecting the data mapping the data those kind of things you can go with stream not for looping okay so always for loop will give you the good result now this parallel stream is taking more time okay the because we understand already creating multiple threads takes more time than the actual logic computation okay that is the reason parallel stream spend more time in task coordination than actual processing fine now who is the winner will you be able to answer me if it is a large data set then no doubt the winner is parallel stream okay if it is a CPU heavy task 
then parallel stream can be much faster if it is a small task then use for loop or stream depends what type of computational logic you are executing okay now i hope you are in a state to answer to the interviewer when to go for for loop stream and parallel stream and you can also raise the hand who is the winner okay so try executing this with more complex scenario then you will find the huge number difference with all the three approaches okay so just give a try and let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts